I'm Johnny Engineer Turmel, and I ran here in the by-election 30 years ago for Peter Worthington by-election. So that's what it's called, Rodney Greenwood. I came last, worst performance of my whole life. But I'll get to that later. Right now, I want to talk about the worst disaster in human history, and that's Fukushima. If you go back to the last federal election, and you look for Turmel Dream Team, you'll find my videos when I was going, take cover! The radiation plume is coming. And uh, on the 25th of March, Health Canada turned off the radiation detectors. 60 units of radiation on March 25th, 54 units of radiation the day before, 11% jump, we better turn off the radiation detectors. So while I'm screaming, take cover from the worst nuclear fallout we've ever experienced and we're downwind, Stephen Harper had Health Canada turn off the radiation detectors. And I said, watch, we're going to have a whole spike in baby deaths in BC, where the Rockies are keeping it mostly on this side. And sure enough, baby deaths tripled after Fukushima. And I predicted it. And of course, you didn't hear about it because Harper turned off the radiation detectors. How many friends who had miscarriages recently? Baby deaths recently, they're the most affected by radiation. You know, a plutonium particle one meter away does damage, but one centimeter away, it ain't a hundred times worse, hundred square. And if it gets inside you, it's one micron away, it's not a million times worse, it's a million square times worse. And that's why this kind of fallout so deadly. And that's why you got to either legalize marijuana to kill all these cancers, because you heard about it, you've been hiding the fact marijuana kills cancers, or you got to start getting your baking soda. Imagine that. Baking soda binds with uranium before the uranium binds with your bones. So if you put baking soda in your water, it can save you from the nuclear particles coming down in the milk or in the water. Anyway, you didn't hear about it because they didn't want to scare you. They turned off the radiation detectors on March the 25th, just when they were spiking. 150 hot particles in Seattle and in Vancouver in the month of April. 150 hot particles they all ingested. They didn't warn a single mother stay out of the rain. Here we have 35 days out of 40. Rain! What do you think that is? That's the plutonium coming down. Nuclear fog! Well, anyway, I wanted to legalize marijuana, mass produce it to save ourselves from the cancers that are coming. And I'll get into that later as I talk about how to fix money with the Argentine solution. So YouTube for Argentine Solution, you'll find out what's going on. But if you YouTube for Prime Minister of the Planet, I'm the only declared candidate, Johnny Engineer Turnell. Okay, good question. Global solution. I'm running for Prime Minister of the Planet. I need something that's going to work for everybody. Well, in 2001, Argentina was broke. Y'all heard that. But by 2006, all their foreign debt was paid off. Didn't make the news, right? How'd they do that? Well, the union said, you're not going to lay us off because you got no money. We'll take small denomination government bonds. We could use to pay our HTML, hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses. Well, everybody in the city took the bonds in the provinces in Argentina. No layoffs, more jobs. And that's how they paid down their debt, using these bond currencies as a new kind of money. Anybody can do that. I'm taking Ontario bond I can use for hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses. And if you go to my YouTube channel, that's all I did during the Occupy demonstrations, was ask people, would you work for Ontario provincial bonds? You can do all these things. And everybody kept saying, sure we would. Great chips if you can pay your hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses with them. So, next time you're out there picketing because you've got not enough money, think about accepting bonds from the government instead of nothing because they got no cash. The Argentine solution, go to YouTube, look for it. You've got to do some homework. Well, it's true that most major political parties, the first time they get in trouble, the first thing they think of doing is lying. How did he get caught? And now with this robocalling scandal, I mean, wow, people are misdirected to the wrong holes. I mean, compared to tripling the baby 
deaths in BC, robocalling is just breaking my heart. Come on now, three times more baby deaths in BC, and this is the biggest scandal we got. I can think of a bigger one, Butcher Olivia. This is the first time Canada has ever attacked another small country that didn't attack us first. That's the first war crime we ever had. Stephen Hart was our first war criminal prime minister. I mean, Afghanistan, well, that was, you know, we thought we were doing something right because they blew up the towers, right? And everybody remembered those fires. But you know something? Gasoline doesn't melt steel. And this is what a building, a high rise of steel, should look like when the fire is over. You still got all the steel. So, we got sick on the wrong people in Afghanistan, and what we did in Libya was a crime, and robocalling is minor compared to the other Tory crimes I just brought up the dead babies in Libya. Well, the great thing about the Climate Gate hoax exposure a couple of years ago is that we don't need a carbon tax. More carbon just means more trees. Now, there are scientists they used a trick to hide the decline. That hockey stick graph, complete fraud. It was a bump of an eagle horn period. They fraudulently massaged the data, and then they admitted they used a trick to hide the decline. Now, I'm offended. I have a real science degree. I think that like anybody else up here. Electrical engineering, grade 17, for real. And when I hear they used a trick to hide the decline, and the temperature's been declining for the last 10 years, that lets me pull out my $100 bill and say to the NDP and to the Green and anybody else who wants to bet that the temperature's going up, I bet it's been going down for 10 years, and those crooked environmental green scientists have been lying to us. All right? So, hey, don't worry about carbon tax. Let's burn more coal. Let's grow more trees, because carbon minor gases in the air. There's more blockage to the sun by water vapor. So listen, they conned us, they tricked us, they used the lie. And when these people here keep pushing the lie, once it's been exposed, well that's worse than dumb. That's plain stupid, or that's crooked, or I don't know which it is. Hong Kong. 
So, Bradford blew their chance to lead the way in Canada with bus books, which are simply bus tickets paid to the unemployed. Rather than have your buses go empty, you're getting something for it. Well, same idea now, back in 1982. Here I was being arrested at the IMF World Bank Conference when I was passing out the flyers saying, why bring your bonds to New York to get bills at interest when you can pay your people with small denomination bonds? Made the news, got arrested, and I ran into Bradfield Greenwood by election. I said, let's pay our people with bonds. I got rejected. And then Argentina picked up the bonds idea, and that's why it's called the Argentine solution and not the Broadway Greenwood solution. <laughs> it's not too bad. You could have had me in the Argentine solution 30 years ago, and you've had all that suffering since then, and you voted for it. Or the media didn't tell you what was at stake. They didn't, that's right. Okay, see you next time.